I'm Dr. Tracy Dahl with iDoc Social, and today I'm going to talk to you about two point of care tests that you can do that will help you to rule out some causes of corneal irritation, punctate staining, or SPK when they just don't seem to be getting better. A lot of doctors will take a look at that and assume the dry therapies aren't working, when in fact, what you're looking at might not actually be classic dry eye. Point of care test number one is to check for incomplete lid seal or nocturnal ligoplamos. Now, nocturnal ligoplamos isn't always exactly what we think it is. A lot of doctors think it's this top to bottom exposure, but sometimes it's not. It can actually be a front to back where that upper eyelid is sitting in front of the lower and light is seeping up underneath and hitting the front surface of the eye. So it can be top to bottom, it can be front to back, that's going to lead that patient to have some exposure. Now, doctors Corbin Blackie developed a test that shows us how we can take a look and see if a patient might be sleeping with their eyes open. And you don't need any special equipment because you already have in your office a pen light or a transilluminator. What you have your patient do is close their eyes in a dim room and then you take that transilluminator and place it on the eyelid and you look to see if light is escaping between the eyelashes. If it is, there's a strong chance that your patient could be sleeping with their eyes open. This may lead you to more manage more of that nighttime dryness with ointments, gels, stickers, or masks, and that patient may not have to wake up in the morning with that irritation on their cornea that they have to recover from all day. So don't forget to check the lid seal. Other condition that may be mimicking dry eye is nerve damage or neurotrophic keratitis. If you have a patient who in conversation doesn't blink very often, there's a strong chance that they're not getting the feedback from the nerves of the front of their eye that they should be closing and blinking and releasing tears. Neurotrophic corneas don't feel normally. So what you can do is you can check for corneal sensation, reduced or absent. Most of us have cotton tip applicators in our office. All you have to do is wisp out a tiny piece and then check the sensitivity in five different quadrants, superior, inferior, nasal, and temporal, and central. That takes literally seconds to come close to the eye and place that little teeny wisp close to the cornea. Now, a normal cornea, when that tiny little piece of cotton feels it, will blink in the pullback. If you've got a patient who's sitting there and they're not blinking and their eyes still open and you'd be able to touch it, that could be a sign of reduced corneal sensitivity, reduced nerve function. And that may lead you to choose to do different procedures because you know you're gonna have to treat those patients more aggressively because they don't have the stimulus to protect themselves. If you have cotton tip applicators and transilluminators in your office, you can quite easily within seconds perform some tests that help you to rule out different causes of those punct epithelial erosions and get you on the right track. So this is Dr. Tracy Idoc Social. I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you next time.